Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna do a full range test on the Segway GT2. I have the battery at 100%, fully charged, two wheel drive. I am going to do it in sport or race, and I'm gonna start it at boost. Eventually I'll probably stay in race mode or go to boost mode, but I'm gonna go faster, not slower. So let's see how far I get. It's advertised to go 55.9 miles, I believe. I think I'm going to get around 25 miles or so. Let's get started. For this range test, I used two different apps on two different phones, GPX Viewer Pro on Android and GPS Tracks on iOS. Just in case if something goes wrong, then at least I'll have some data. And if nothing goes wrong, I have comparable results, which was the case for me. Now, I did this thing in one go to see if the scooter can handle it, meaning would it overheat or would there be some sort of other error? And so far, so good. So everything from that aspect was perfect, except the battery did pretty much die at right around 3% which I will show you guys at the end. And I'll also have all the results at the end of how fast I was going, how much I climbed and all that other stuff. Stock suspension settings, comfort level, super comfortable because of its wide handlebars, long and wide deck, and it's very heavy, which makes it very stable, especially when you're going fast. Now, according to the GPS app, I went a little over 67 kilometers an hour, which is about 42 miles an hour. And according to the GT2 itself, uh, to the screen I got to 74 kilometers an hour which is about 46 miles an hour now no matter which one of these two I believe I definitely did go over 40 miles an hour which is very different than going 40 miles an hour in a car it feels a lot more scary at, at least especially at first when you're going that fast so I actually wear a lot of protection a lot of gear and I recently did a video on this so I'll put that video in the link below I'll also put the product links if you guys are interested now you get to those speeds fairly easily, especially with the boost mode, even if you're going uphill, as long as you have a good amount of battery. Now, the reason why I say that is because right after 30% of battery or less, the acceleration definitely takes a hit and the top speed slows down a bit, still going pretty fast. Now, going that fast, this thing is equipped with hydraulic brakes, which are phenomenal. 3% battery left, I've gone 40 kilometers. The interesting portion was that after I stopped to check how far I'd gone, the scooter stopped going right after that. And I tried changing the mode to eco mode, which was the first time I put in eco mode. And then I tried a few other things. I turned off the scooter, turned it back on. I also put it in one wheel drive and no matter what I did, oh, the scooter wrong, wouldn't no. go. All right, there's 3% left and the scooter's not going anymore. So I went 40 kilometers. There it is. Let me start by saying I weigh around 210 pounds with all my gear on or 95 kilograms. Now, according to both apps, we went right around 39.5 kilometers, which is about 25 miles of range, which kind of makes me happy because that's what I initially guessed. So we have an average moving speed of 40.3 kilometers, a top speed of 67.5 kilometers. And according to the screenshot, a total climb of 534 meters. But when I exported the GPX file and uploaded it to Google, it showed up as 460 meter climb or 1,510 feet. If we just really wanted to estimate it, half a kilometer of climbing. But here are my thoughts. I think they should advertise two different ranges. One for eco, which is that up to 55.9, and one for race mode, which they should advertise, I don't know, about 30 miles or so. Because if you're spending $4,000 on the scooter, I'm sure some people, I mean, I for one for sure, will be using boost mode because that's really most of the fun with the scooter is really that acceleration. Now, at the end of the day, it, it is a very impressive scooter and 25 miles of range. For someone that's not light, for someone that's doing hills, for someone that's using boost mode, it's it's honestly very impressive. It's long enough that I can get to anywhere I want to go on the scooter. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.